Cures Within Reach was created to launch the repurposing revolution. We have repurposing partnerships with nearly 50 great institutions like the Mayo Clinic, Cleveland Clinic, Harvard and Mass General, and the universities of Wisconsin, Chicago, and California. These research partners help us find and test the new treatments hidden in old drugs and devices so that we can save lives for patients that won't get a treatment from the traditional research system. Cures Within Reach has only one objective, to save as many lives as possible by repurposing safe drugs and medical devices. Currently, we are very effective for a small number of diseases. We want to be effective for a large number of diseases. We will create an online rediscovery research commons to bring researchers and physicians around the globe together to propose, discuss, improve, and pursue repurposing research. We will create repurposing revolution economic engines that create millions of research dollars so repurposing can get tested and save lives. We will create legislative incentives so that for-profit medical research industries can make money speeding repurposed treatments to patients. And finally, we will teach other medical research philanthropies how repurposing research can quickly help the patients they care about the most. We leverage safety, speed, and affordability to meet an immense need. We start with available drugs and devices that are known to be safe for human use. That reduces research costs by 95% and research time by 80%. The resulting treatments are safe and inexpensive for patients. The law permits physicians to find the research results and immediately prescribe these repurposed therapies for their patients. We have a high success ratio and an amazing return on investment. The average repurposing success reduces hospitalization and expensive treatments that aren't working to the tune of over $20,000 per patient per year. Cures Within Reach is effective because there's an enormous need, a huge pipeline to fill it, and a simple solution. Half a billion patients worldwide are currently without an effective treatment. Two-thirds of researchers and a quarter of clinicians have a repurposing idea. And the results of this research actually impact patients. All we need is the funding to fuel this repurposing research. Because we leverage the power of partnerships, we can succeed with a small staff and highly qualified volunteer scientific and lay board members. As soon as we prove that a repurposed drug or device creates a safe and effective treatment, doctors and patients begin using it right away, saving lives and saving money. And every success we have creates new ideas for future repurposing solutions in other diseases. Cures Within Reach tracks success in a number of ways. Most importantly, we look at how many lives we've improved and how many new treatments we've created. We also track how many researchers, clinicians, research institutions, funders, and others join the repurposing revolution. And we measure the healthcare dollars saved by the repurposing revolution. One misconception is that physicians are already using all the repurposing ideas. Not true. Until the results of a clinical trial are published, most physicians won't know about or feel comfortable recommending the repurposed treatment to their patients. A second misconception is that physicians can only prescribe a drug that has been approved for a specific disease. Also not true. Physicians can prescribe any drug to any patient. A third misconception is that there is sufficient repurposing research taking place. Once again, not true. 99% of all research dollars go to new discovery research. Less than 1% goes to repurposing research, even though repurposing research is faster, cheaper, 
safer, works more often, and reduces health care costs. Cures Within Reach has created life-saving repurposed therapies for patients. Dr. Tichi repurposed rapamycin to cure the fatal disease ALPS. Dr. Barish Rubin at Fordham repurposed EGCG, genistein, and diadzine to save kids with familial dysautonomia, a disease that used to take kids before the age of three after they suffered horrible crises that had them in the hospital almost their entire life, and now they're living normal and long lives. At Mass General, a life-saving treatment is in testing for lung cancer patients. The old drug chloroquine helps the new drug Tarceva work longer for more patients. Mayo Clinic is improving outcomes for lymphoma patients by adding natural killer cells to transplants for 600,000 patients with no extra cost and no extra side effects. Our diabetes researchers repurposed an old vaccine to kill cells that destroy the pancreas. Our cancer researchers at the University of Chicago repurposed a laser to kill prostate cancer cells with zero chance of incontinence and impotence. We're also testing a repurposed device that helps MS patients regain decades of lost function in only two weeks. Hundreds of other repurposing revolution ideas can help patients just like these when we get the funding. Our main challenge is funding the repurposing revolution. Most funding supports for-profit new discovery research, even though the $250 billion spent each year on new discovery research only creates about 30 new therapies. It takes a while before something as obvious and radical as the repurposing revolution becomes popular. Recycling took a long time to catch on, but now it's everywhere and is helping to save the health of the planet. We have the same opportunity to expand the repurposing revolution to save the health of those of us who inhabit the planet. One day soon, with your help, everyone will be pushing the repurposing revolution forward to quickly, safely, and affordably save lives. The more funding we have, the more patient lives we can save. Hundreds of repurposing projects are waiting in line for funding to create repurposed treatments for diseases with no effective therapy. With more resources, Cures Within Reach could expand our web presence to form a rediscovery research commons for researchers, organizations, and funders to use as a hub for repurposing research. If we had more resources, we'd teach more nonprofits how to repurpose. And we'd use some of those resources to advocate for new incentives so that the for-profit sector could make some money creating fast, safe, and effective repurposed treatments. Cures Within Reach would benefit from more time interacting with individual clinicians and patient support groups to unearth their repurposing revolution ideas from clinical practice. There are a lot of repurposed treatments physicians already use that no one else knows about. We can find them and test them so that more physicians can use them for more patients. We could also begin to interface more widely with the for-profit sector finding ways to use their knowledge, resources, and funding to drive more repurposed treatments to patients.